Because he has no beads, remember, so. I'll just go ahead and execute him. Help! Take out this guy. It's just a 1v1 here, so. I win it every time. He's just gonna sit in the minions. I'll just keep auto the minions down so I can heal and get him out of the way. Well, one for the for the kill. The one does a lot of damage, especially once it's max, so. Yo, what's up everybody? We're back with another soul lane play by play. I started this recording a little bit late. I mean we're still, you know, at the beginning of the game and everything, but there's a little cockroach in my room right before I hit record and I had to take care of that that sucker but yeah anyway <laughs> we're back with another soul lane at play by play a to z series we're up to al kwong now um I have a little build figured out I'm not gonna go boombas although boombas al kwong would be fun but I just don't want to go boombas in every single video you know I'm gonna go death toll because death toll has 35 magical power on it and al kwong's hit chain is perfect for for uh, a healing item like that based off your auto so I'm gonna do that and that's what that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna do it and that's what we're gonna do See, so yeah, I'm gonna go Death Toll. I'm gonna go Ring of Akate, and then I'm gonna go Tank Pixie the rest of my build. Um, I think I might actually go TP here. Just, you know, kind of a cozy relic to go so you don't have to worry too much and kind of can just like hyper farm, get to, get to your full build. Um, as you can see, they have a Lancelot, and Lancelot is pretty OP, so we'll see what happens. Two, yeah. Two, two, two. I got the two. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I do have a Diamond Alkong. Alquang solo is not as potent as it once was, you know, back in the day, even like, not even like when, like, Cyclone Spin uh, played it in the soloing with, like, full damage. I'm talking like, you know, Bruiser Alquang and Tank Alquang is actually not too bad. It used to be pretty decent. Um, yeah, but it's, it's not what it used to be. And uh, I think magical characters in general right now aren't that great, although the buff to the, the starters, the Conduit and Saints of Time are actually pretty big. I think magical zoolaners are a lot better off of that. Also, where is my opponent? There he is. Took a while to clear. Even though he's a Kuzumbo, he shouldn't be able to triple bounce it. I mean, the sustain with Death Toll on Alquang is just so crazy. It's similar to Kali, where your shit chain is so fast that, like, you just get so much value. Not that, like, Death Toll Kali is OP or anything, but, like, that's why, like, Kin Size is really strong. Um, your, your two also does a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of base damage if you can get the autos off on him. Just gonna keep trying to poke Alquang, or now Alquang, Kuzumbo. He went beads. Yeah, no, he went TP. Okay, so we do have some execute potential in the lane. And we don't have to worry about a, a blink pushing a tower here. Unless I'm getting ganked, I should be fine. Keep poking him. Even if I got ganked, I'm pretty sure I could just sit there and auto and be fine. Although it is Lancelot at the end of the day. We'll get the totem for our squad. I mean, look at this mana and health sustain. Just really strong. And that 35 magical power is just... That's just... That's a lot. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, I'll try and, uh, you know, Alquang's not that popular of a character these days, so I'll try and give you guys some tips and tricks throughout the game. For Alquang solo, just Alquang in general and everything like that. Like I said, your 2 is really good DPS, so like, for example, now that I have a little bit of pressure, I can, uh, I can go do this Sharpie. I should be able to kind of just one-shot it. Let's see, that's, there it is. Um, also, uh, one's pretty instant, so he's just had a really clean kit. Like, for example, maybe I could even go on this guy. He did pop his two, and no, I know that's not a that's not a hack. We might be able to kill here though, because we just got his dash again. There's that single target DPS with the two. If you hit every auto with it, I don't know what the total damage is, but let's just say it's a lot. <laughs> it's a big number. So if you're able to connect with that, it's really strong. Part of the reason Hasten Ring used to be so strong back in the day on this character. Even though I do have Death Toll, I'm still going to max the 3. It's just a short cooldown, and I am going to be full C going uh, full CDR. Full CDR on is pretty insane. You just always have a 2, 3 up. You can do that, and of course your 1 does damage, so if you 1 and go towards your blue, and uh, just like wait a second and then 1 the wave, then you'll make sure you get that, that uh, wave and still be able to get to your blue in time. I haven't even had to pop a health pot. I didn't know I was against Kuzumbo, to be fair. Maybe if it was like a uh, more like a higher pressure lane, I would have to you know actually use these. Uh, health potions and stuff, but I'll probably pop one here just because Kuzumbo is in lane. He's gonna push me through here. There it is. I'm gonna give him his push again. I do have my ult here. If he put, I can bait him. Yeah, we can bait here. Now I can maybe kill because I have execute and he has no CC mini. Oh, what? What just happened? What just happened? My game tabbed out. 
<laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, drop kill, guys. You got to w witness that firsthand. I don't know what. I don't know how my game tabbed out. I don't like have a second monitor because I'm, you know, I have a streaming PC and a gaming PC, and I'm recording from my streaming PC. You know, sometimes when you have a second monitor, you'll click the second monitor screen, and then it'll tab you out. I have no idea what just happened, but just for the sake of the rest of this video, let's make sure we're full screen. I guess. Un unfortunate, I suppose. No problem. Drop kill. I mean, we could have executed that Alkong. Or the uh, Kuzumbo. I don't know why I keep calling him Alkong. I guess they're both Chinese. Uh... Oh, no. Kuzumbo's Japanese, of course. And Alkong's a Chinese pantheon. Anyway. Um, yeah. I guess I guess that happened. See, I'm back to full HP. With the help of my health potions, for sure. I do not mind this poke at all. Just because... I will be back in here and TP back in. There we go. Get another point in our three. We'll back and TP back in because we have Ring of Akate. So we're going to go Ring of Akate straight into um, full CDR. We'll go Genji's, then a Breastplate. Full CDR is just really strong in Alkong. Um, like I said, his cooldowns are really short. It just allows you to poke super hard. More executes, more ones in the fights. Figured he's going to try and uh, try and push me there. I'm not afraid to fight this. I have a Ring of Akate. I guess his character is OP. Oh, how is he not in execute range? I sh should be out. They may try and dive me here. I was I said I was going to be fine, but Lancelot damage is just OP. Might be able to kill him. He's trying to go on me. Who is this? Ymir, is he my support? It is. Where's my jungler at? Come on over, Lancelot. We can kill these guys. Mm, yeah. Well, that's just Lancelot being OP, I guess. He does have Crusher already, so that's a lot of damage. And I also messed up my execute there. I really thought he was going to be in execute range with that three. Do need to be a little bit careful of him pushing me through the wave here. He'll have to go through my tower to do it right now, so I don't have to be that afraid. I'm just going to auto this wave down to get some mana and health back. You're going to see how much sustain I can get back just from death toll here. It's pretty insane. The sustain is insane. I mean, look at this. I'm already back to 60% of both. Go ahead and use a little bit of mana. My Alkong is a little bit of rusty, so my, uh, my execute knowledge there was just not... It wasn't there. I should be able to kill. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Help! He's his ult a little bit early and he kind of walked back up to me as long as I can get a, get a bit of my two on him and then we'll be fine. So I am sustaining during that as well because of the death toll and ring of Akate. So never in too much of a threat. They have three in mid so I can actually greed this wave because the jungler won't be here or they're mid. Unfortunately that doesn't full clear but three is a short cooldown so we can just three it again and then back up. Bit unfortunate they have a physical jungler and a magical solo, so once I get this Genji's, um, I'm still going to be pretty susceptible to ganks, so I'll just go ahead and grab a Chalice. And I was going to get a double ward, but I just couldn't get it. I can just use my Vision Shard. Lancelot's popping off. Lancelot, especially with Crusher, that's probably actually a good matchup into me. And I'm pretty sure his ult can immune my, my execute. Not his ult, obviously his ult can, because it's CC mean. His horse, rather. I think the Guzmo was walking to this. Uh, I'm going to put a, a point in my two here and just try and burst it. We do a lot of single target DPS. There we go. Burn that down. I'll throw a vision shard there to see where Kuzumbo goes. And for the the gank. So we are full clearing now with our 3-1. So that's good to know. I can kind of just three the archers and, and then one them. I didn't actually reach all three minions. It's all. It's fine. Not sure why he's doing that. In order for him to like win these, he has to like... He has to like all in me and have enough damage to actually kill me because I'll just full sustain back off like the next wave. TP is up as well, so we're not really too scared. We have two good gank wards. Whenever you're uh, worried of getting ganked, these two wards that I have are usually the best places to put them. Remember that your two does proc off of your three as well, so when you pop your two and you're able to actually hit them with your three, it will hit them with the, the dragon call, which is the two. Looking for a gank and see like those gank boards are coming in handy. I can maybe bait it here. I'm gonna try and go in the Kuzumbo now because he doesn't have CC immunity. 
Mm, unfortunate. His ult is back up. I wanted to try and execute the Kuzumbo there and just try and 1v2 him, but... Um, wasn't able to. The two didn't do enough damage. He just rust Genji's, that's why. Uh, Genji's rust Kuzumbo solo. We're back to this, everybody. We're back to defense rushing in solo and having no kill potential on each other. That is if I win defense and I was afraid, but... Dude, no way he's gonna be able to get my... He got my tower off that? That's just crazy. <laughs> that's actually so sad. I've been ganked, been ganked, eight, been ganked twice and I lose my tower off of it, whatever. Um, I guess the blue's coming back up. Be able to get that. It's actually not too good for him to get the tower that early. It's more of just a morale defeat for me. Like I said, the one is really quick and clean, so like you can auto cancel it with it really well. Like, so if you do this, and then auto that right away. Like if you're on top of somebody. You can also use your ult for setup to do that. So if you can't, you don't have somebody quite in execute range and you kind of want to burst them, you can like throw them in the air and then put get below them with the one and just have your two in ready and like auto cancel perfectly with your three. I can try and show you, but basically what I'm saying is like, oh, let me wait for my two to be up. I'll do it on the totem. So if you ult somebody into the air, so say I ult this thing and I go like this, right when they land, you can go, Three and then two of them, and it's just a lot of burst damage. Call missing because I don't know where Kuzumbo is. Especially if you're a full damage build, and it, especially if you're a full like uh, mage ability like damage build. So not just like auto attacks, then that could do a lot of damage. What the hell? There's ult down again. No CC immunity. If my two comes back up, I might be able to kill. Oh, okay. That is unfortunate. Their Apollo ADC is now ulted over to my lane. <laughs> oh man, everybody's coming over here. Uh, I guess my TP's up and I still am able to get my Genjis at least. So, I mean, we're not even behind, so it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm still ahead of this Kuzumbo by quite a bit. Um, but at least we have the Genjis online now. They do have triple magical, so the Genjis does get some value. It just sucks that they're physical jungler. On other characters, maybe you could go like a Spirit Robe or maybe like an Urchin, but I just kind of want to get Genjis. Oh, I can gank mid here. I'm gonna TP in. I'm gonna TP so I can actually maybe fight this. They keep coming to my lane, so we'll punish them for it. I'll just execute him. Good to get that. So I can go into the air and maybe keep fighting. Oh, nice. We got his three. We can maybe dive this. My abilities are coming back up. His three is still up, so. There it is. We'll just hit the Kuzumbo for the time being. Nice. And we can probably still kill this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and one to him. Nice, nice job. I'm not gonna go to that Gold Fury. I'm just gonna go farm left. I have a way pretty far pushed up. All the, all the jungles up. And gold's so hard to do these days uh, early on that sometimes it's not even worth for your whole team to commit to it. Because if the other team just doesn't go there and they just like farm elsewhere, they're not even going to be like that far behind. Or maybe they come out ahead sometimes. We have a decent comp to do it to be fair. Poseidon's pretty good at it. With his trident. I mean look at that single target DPS even with the Genjis. Get the breastplate next so we get the full CDR and actually have some physical defense for their... Their bad boys on the enemy team. I'm going to go ahead and one there. That might be bad just because it's... <laughs> wouldn't be uh... Out of the question for them to gank me here. Especially because there's not much else to do on the map now. There's the Kuzumbo. Don't put points in your ult. It doesn't actually uh, increase the execute threshold, so that doesn't really matter. If you're using it for damage or setup, then maybe it's worth, but just having more one damage is pretty good. Yeah, I know. Of course they are. I just want to back. I can get my, my blink here and my tier 2 breastplate. I'm going to tell them I'm, I'm backing so they don't play up. And I'll come back and be pretty strong now that I have Blink. Blink is really good on Aquang. They are going to be able to go in here, so maybe I can play Janitor and come clean up. Let's see. Ymir might die. If they overextend, that would be good for us. Especially if they go into our Poseidon damage. Looks like they are going to be able to keep going, so maybe we can maybe we can go in. Get some nice uh, double damage there. I can execute through Kepri. Uh, 
ultimate, so we go ahead and do that. Make sure we get the kill and we can chase out with it. This guy didn't turn around very well. I'm down to keep going. Look at that damage, holy. Good crack him for my, my boys. Good job by following up. Try and heal a little bit by autoing. I still have my blink up so we can maybe even dive this. Let's see. Did he hear him? He heard me. Doesn't matter. That should kill. I'm trying to hit him with my two there to make sure I can slow him. It didn't hit, but I should be good. I'll just forward to see. If he actually dashes on me, we can kill. I'm going to want to wait because Kuzumbo's back. Usually you can actually get that one damage pretty... Like, I probably could have detonated it right away and it would have hit, but... I wanted to be careful with the Kuzumbo being there. Good job by killing him. I knew we could kill him here just because it's not that late in the game. He does actually have a little bit of crit, but no crit chance yet, so we're good. Maybe if he got a lucky crit, I could have been bad, but he doesn't have crit chance yet, so that's good. But yeah, just the healing that I have, Ring of Akate, is good for boxing. Ooh, that is so unfortunate. I gotta wait to use my... I was gonna say, I gotta wait to use my one here just because the Crusher would show me, show him where I am, but no problem. Maybe could use one anyway, but I'm just dead there every time. The Lancelot ran straight from base to their blue buff. So, sometimes you just you can't expect that, you know? Um, but anyway, I had a build filled out, and usually I'd go Vamp Shroud, but I actually think Death Soul is just better. I'm going to be going Stone of Fall next, and then we'll get the Typhons, and then we'll have the Death and Brace late game, and we'll actually be healing so much. Although, maybe it might be more fun to go Typhons, Rod of Asclepius. Kind of mix up the build, since I'm not getting Lifesteal for my starter item. Because technically, Death and Brace is healing uh, like per auto, and it's based on your health. It's not really based on, like... How much damage you're doing to them it's just every auto you know what i mean maybe i can tp in here mm, guess not nothing's happening i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go stone of foul and then go or not stone of foul i'm gonna go uh typhon's vein and then go part of asclepius so then and i can just have a ton of uh healing and life scale and they don't have any anti-heal yet so that just makes it even better somehow i'm only level 14. i guess i have kind of just gotten ganked and gone on. I'm gonna go ahead and get, do these back because my jungler is dead. And I need the farm. I do have breastplate now, so I probably can 1v1 this Lancelot, although. I can, we can defend this. It's Lancelot dash. That's all of their, that's all their shit down. I can just kill this Kuzumbo. It's a CC immunity. I'm just gonna sit on this Kuzumbo the whole time. Or maybe I'll go on Kepri. I want to execute him. There we go. And now I can chase out once again. Probably just go on this Kuzumbo. That's his dash. I'll just keep bottoming him down. I use my one to chase. Or maybe for burst damage. We can probably kill this guy too. He's level 12. I can blink on him. No, I got put in combat. I did hit the slow though at least. That's his ult. We can keep, keep hitting him. I'm going to 3 and then 1 away for the kill. Does not quite hit. That is unfortunate that their follows here once again, and they're living with 1 HP. That's no problem. Rama's just getting a bunch of farm in the meantime. He's pushing tier 2. Now we're up 4k. They're hungry for kills. We're hungry for wins. Although this isn't that good, especially if Rama dies. Because they can maybe go fire here. I wonder if they do go fire. I mean, they are pretty poked, so... Might be a little bit difficult, but we're just dead for so long. We'll see. Guess we're about to find out. Sorry, drinking some water. Surprised my one didn't kill the uh, Yu Hong. I'm very surprised. They are on fire. I can hear it from this tier two. That's interesting. Surprised my one didn't kill him though. I wonder if he he didn't Aegis it. I don't believe. I, I swear I just didn't do enough damage. But yeah, this is part of the reason. Oh, Quang Soul isn't what it used to be. I mean, Bruisers in general, unless you have a Glad Shield, aren't that great right now, so that doesn't help. But I think when we're full build, especially if they don't go anti-heal, maybe I can put in some work. You guys know I had to go for the 1v2s and stuff for the content. Probably could have played this game cleanly by just living these ganks and... Be kind of smooth sailing, but... They do have a fire now. Didn't mean to pop that. 
They also have Apollo ult, so they may end up coming over here. They shouldn't be over here. They should be probably grouped over there. My team is fighting that gold fear, even though I'm not there. They should probably just retreat. If we get that gold fear and get out, it's huge, but it looks like all of us are going to die. I do have the full CDR here. This is beads. One HP. I do have blink for him, so I should be able to. He already is back on his horse. That's so dumb. Nice. We're able to get that kill. I don't think they are here. Apollo may be ulting, but even if he had fire there, and I still killed him. He's an OP character. That's where the healing comes in. Good thing he didn't have brawlers. If he had brawlers, I'm dead there for sure. Oh, Apollo's dead. What am I doing? I didn't even look up the top right. Somebody just said something to me. Probably Tyler Herwin. Because we're playing games tonight. This is good. This is huge. We got Oni Waves pushing as well. We just killed two of their biggest people. Use one to clear that. I'll be able to get my Typhons here. Place your bets on whether I'm going to get Apollo. Oh, I just heard a Kuzumbo. TP. There it is. His blue is up. I'll just go ahead and ward that. I just know they're going to be coming over here. Keep trying to farm. I really want to get Death's Embrace. It's going to be a little bit, but... Nice. He didn't get the uh, little cup. Come on, bro. Nice. All right, we'll go get the Typhons real quick. Probably just gonna save this 1200 gold, try and go farm up to level 20. We're still at 3k and they haven't done much with this fire. We even got that gold, so good job by my team. Even though I wasn't there, maybe I should have been there, guys. I did what I could. I got farm and then because there was somebody near me, I 1v1'd him and that kind of actually maybe win us the game, you know? We can kill this Kepri. He still has no... Oh, he does have beads, actually. We just kill this Kuzumbo. He's going pretty hard ham here under tower. I don't even need to ult him. Maybe I need to if Kepri was going to ult, but we can kind of react to that. This Kepri does have beads here, so... I'm just not going to ult him. We'll just kill him. We can kill this guy. <laughs> what is that shield, man? He has no beads, remember, so... I'll just go ahead and execute him, and I can chase out this guy. It's just a 1v1 here, so... I win it every time. He's just gonna sit in the minions. I'll just keep auto the minions down so I can heal and get him out of the way. Well, one for the for the kill. The one does a lot of damage, especially once it's max. So mm, we can't quite end the game here, but maybe we can get a phoenix. Oh, okay, that's good. Bubble link. We'll take that. We can't even get this phoenix. Kepri's alive too. My ult's coming up in 20 though. That's the powerful CDR, and my Genji is about to proc. I don't quite have Death's Embrace. If I had that, I can... Our Paul's going to be ulting in here. We need to get out. Although, maybe I can ult this Kep or this Kuzumbo and get out. I probably can. Nice. Let's go. Good thing he doesn't have beads. That's just free for me, and now I can run. See ya! Like I said, once we if we can get to the late game, I, I think I can carry. Especially because they have no anti-heal. The Kuzumbo does have a Divine, to be fair, but that's not enough. They need uh, a Brawlers as well. So now we get this. We're going to go for the Asclepius next. <laughs> and this is a fun build. It's a nice one. <clears throat> yeah, I can't believe, dude. It's so funny at the beginning of this. I'm not going to lie. There were two cockroaches. It's super hot out. There's a heat wave across the entire world right now. And uh, I think, I don't know exactly how the, the biology of it or anything, but I'm assuming that like the there's going to be more cockroaches and stuff inside houses just because of because of that like it's just blistering hot out i don't know i'm not entirely sure okay i'm not a geometrist you know what i mean so but yeah there were literally two right at the beginning of this video which is just insane uh oh this might be a little bit sketchy can i won it won't let me one dude i don't know what i'm doing i'm distracted by this cockroach discussion uh that's my bad
I mean, I have TP. I follow split pushing, right? Uh, I'm, I'm trolling, I'm trolling, guys. They can kill that guy. That guy has no ult, just wall on. Nice. Oh, he is jumping in. To be fair, he does have Capriol. Oh, no. We're losing the fight. It's literally a, a 4v4, too. Paul's not even there. Oh, nice try. He's 1 HP. He can wait it out. He can wait it out. No, what? Why would he do that? He got the Phoenix either way. There's no point in defending Apollo or Poseidon. I've thrown. This is my fault. I can maybe defend fire though. I can TP in there. Oh, they're just gonna one shot it. He's got a full Deathbringer. And I can't I can uh afford a full TP so I can actually get behind him. That is a bit sad. Also, if I just walk into this, I'm going to one-shot by this ADC. I'm going to be on uh, Pyro here. Maybe I can kill Kuzumbo? They have a ward here. Look at the way they reacted. <laughs> uh, that's a little bit sad. Sorry, team. That's my fault. These damn cockroaches, man. Making me start recording late and then... Making me throw out a fire giant. Sorry, right. no big deal. We can still win this. In fact, we will still win this. I'm calling it now. This guy still has no brawlers. He does have a Boomba, so maybe he wins a 1v1 against me now, but... Kind of hard to say. I don't have much gameplay experience against the, uh, the Lancelot yet. I'd probably just lose it because the character is OP. It's still a close game. They're at 69k. Nice. It kind of just killed me, even though I was auto in with my my two and had a bunch of life steal, just because they have the uh, the divine. And uh, I guess that's just it. I mean, I guess they just do enough damage. Well, that should be a kill. That's actually huge for us. A much worthwhile trade. We still have to be a little bit careful. This Apollo can just one shot us, but oh, Kuz wasn't left. We can fight these guys. Nice. I'm just gonna dash on him. I'll heal a lot here. I'm gonna ult this. Oh. Mmm, that is so unfortunate. He's barely able to get out. No problem. That's both his actives. Oh, kill the Apollo! Kill the Apollo! We have to kill him. We have to kill him. Oh, maybe we don't. What is this healing, man? Okay, we were able to kill him. Get him, boys! We might be dead for this. I should be able to heal a lot, actually. Maybe not. I was about to say. I guess I'm not. Divine is just enough for me. To be fair, he is full build as well, so he's just doing enough damage. That's actually not too bad. We killed Apollo, got both his actives. Um, and Lancelot will be up in 15, so not the end of the world. Not the end of the game, either. They are pushing down right, but they won't be able to end. Follow both actives. You can keep that in mind for the uh, firefight. If uh, actually, don't know when firing is back up, but they're just in mid. They're gonna go tier two here. At least they won't be able to get another phoenix with Apollo being dead. Oh, whoever jumps first loses. Oh, unless he misses his abilities, he just loses this because he doesn't have soul eater, and this guy does. You're already dead. Oh, oh, that was sick. No way, is this his very first game and he, he's making out plays like that? Because he didn't know what to level. We can actually maybe go right. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this and go here with this. I uh, don't want to get a 500 pot. I want to be able to get this upgraded teleport soon so we can actually make some plays on the map. When is fire though? That's I wish we knew. Because if it was up soon, we'd probably want to be in left. I have a feeling it's down for a little bit though. This is a fun build, but I actually don't- I don't know whether it's actually doing all that much. Rod of Asclepi is just such a bad item. It's been so bad for so long as well. I don't know what they're doing with it. We can keep these right ways pushed out. It's good to push them out as a team just in case the enemies come over. I'm gonna go ahead and one to them. Should be back up by the time I need it to be. Because I have full CDR. That's good damage. Apollo landed no actives on him. We can maybe kill him. 
Mm, then you be careful now. Be careful, bro. You're just gonna die to Apollo. I did slow him. Oh, we got the Poseidon Kraken. Let's go. I want to try and execute him. He's gonna get res. Oh no, dude. That sucks. I mean, look at that shield, bro. No way. That is just insane. That shield is so stupid. How am I supposed to fight into that? Also, I, I wanted to try and uh, get the execute on the Apollo, but I got, got zoned. Sadly. A bit sad. Looks like they're just going to go fire once again. It will be enhanced if they wait for 50 seconds, but... Man. That was our opportunity. If I could have gotten uh, Apollo in the air there with his act as being down, instantly executed through the Kepri and then I could have chased as well. Hopefully they just burst down fire and they don't get the enhanced one. <laughs> Tyler's invite me to fall flat. Done recording a video. They are waiting. If, if they're waiting, they should actually go there. They are waiting for EFG. Steal. They can maybe steal if they walk up. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that. I'm gonna TP in here. They need to go, they need to go, they're trying to wait. Oh, that is, that is not, a uh, not good. We can maybe kill this Kuzumbo. No CC me on him now. That's his beads. Kept your beads down. Oh no, this might be bad. No, I need to be able to get my execute. I got him. No! You hung no beads here though. You be a little bit careful. I can maybe kill Capri actually. Oh. I can maybe still kill Capri. Mm, it's too bad I missed some autos there. I still kind of want to look for it. I just don't do a ton of damage to him, and he is healing a lot. If he gets, if he is alone, maybe we can kill him. Yeah, just not nearly enough damage. Be careful. No problem. Ultimate is down. This Apollo is just such a raid boss with this full build, it's insane. And they also have enhanced here, so they are going to one shot this Phoenix. They're not here though, so that's good. Maybe they're going right. That was a little bit sketchy because Poseidon took the kill on Kuzumbo, but it ended up being a decent fight for us. I think we killed two people. Killed Kuzumbo and Yu Huang. ADC still has fire though, so. Oh, we can kill this guy. It's a cripple field too, man. Why? Oh, nice. He's able to... And then he gets right back on it. Okay, man. Why? I mean, what a fun character, but that's just so busted. I'll be fine here. He might try and root me, but no problem. He has no beads, but we should be a little bit careful. Just back up, trying to defend our phoenixes. Ideally, I can try and execute a front line here. My build's not good enough to kill like their back line. I'll just get autoed four times and die by Apollo with his crit. I, I probably should just, if I could afford it, switch out my whole build for damage. We can execute this guy if we get some damage on him. No beads on him still, I'm pretty sure. Like, what? We're doing negative damage. What's my teammate's builds? That's what I'm talking about with the, the autoing. I got autoed twice, I think, by Apollo there. We gotta stop this Apollo. That's both his actives. Just dashed in. Maybe kills Kepri. My nice, his beads are still down. We can maybe chase with this. What is that, man? What is that? 
<laughs> what? He auto me twice and was back to full HP. That is just stupid. And what is that damage? Sure, why not? Why not? That's what I'm saying. I should have sell my full my whole build and get uh, all damage. I mean, look, look at Ymir die. Surprise. Oh, what an ult. That was a good ult. Good ult by Yuong, but... That's probably just game. Apollo no acts if I can wait for my ult, but like... This is just, I don't know. I walk into him, he'll just auto me twice. Kizmo's just tanking the whole time. Oh, maybe we could do something here. We could maybe land on Alkong. Are you Huang? This guy can't tank. <laughs> Look at that! Do I have a defense item or not? Rama can defend though. The Titan reset. As Rama doesn't, as long as Rama doesn't dash in, we're good. Don't, just don't dash in. Nice. You're chilling. You're chilling. Nice. Good crit. Good job. Oh, this should be good. Apollo no actives here. <laughs> nice job. Fire's actually coming up. We can maybe go fire here. Uh, I had to buy this just so I could defend, but. I don't know. Uh, I just need to sell my whole build. <laughs> build would have been fine if uh, their Apollo wasn't so fed, but or if we like kind of snowballed with it, snowballed with the healing. Um, but yeah, I can't afford reselling it now. We need to go fire here. We lose the game if they get it. With an enhanced fire, when our three phoenixes are down, they'll just one shot our titan. We just get our waves pushed out. Go straight there. I can defend the right lane. Grab that. They're being right back. We can't do it. Can't do it now. Why Rama back? The Paul is just gonna ult in from base. There's, you can't be back in there. Gotta go straight to fire. I can push out right because I have TP, right? So I can be there. It's just kind of the map play you should make. Does my team know that? Why is Rama doing the green buff? Go push out mid or something, Rama, and defend fire. I'm TP in there now. Nice. I was about to be a little bit afraid there if he's beads and turns on me because he'll just one-shot me, but... I'm gonna blink on these guys. Get blink past the Kizumbo push or the Kizumbo one. Oh, we can chase this. Oh, why does he keep? They can defend and we can do fire. The Rama shouldn't have been the one to back though. If Ymir tanks this, we can maybe do it. Oh wow. Mm, I don't know. We're not really doing a lot of damage to this. And somehow I'm tanking. Why is Kuzumbo at our Titan? Fire is just farming us. How is the Kuzumbo hitting our Titan? Oh, well, that was a good wall. Wait, what? Okay. They were able to kill Kizubo. Can they defend against the minions though? What is going on in our Titan? How is- They need to defend the Phoenixes! Apollo's gonna be ulting. Be careful, be careful. Apollo's gonna be ulting to our Titan. Can I back in time? I'm here. The Phoenix is still down, so he could actually try and land on it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nice. No problem. They might try and do fire now? This is intense. They are trying to do it. I'm gonna run there. And they don't do it crazy fast. Oh, okay. They do it crazy fast. Because Apollo was there and one shot it. I have executing 12 and this guy has no beads. Somebody's gotta defend this. There was a fire wave there. I mean, they only have it on three people, so... 
And that's doable. That's... We could fight that. Follow no beads right now. Although he probably has them upgraded, so they'll be back up in no time. Yeah, they are upgraded. This is an intense game, man. It would have been a very easy game if I didn't throw at that fire giant, though, guys. It's all my fault. Well, they have an enhanced fire, and we have three weakened phoenixes. But we don't care. It's still a close game, and we can just all in on one of these phoenixes and just try and fight and win. And they have Oni Fury? Okay, <laughs> this is going to be rough. We just need a uh, full engage on them and one of the Phoenixes. I'm just going to type it. That's how you spell Phoenix now. I've decided. I've made the change. Okay. Yeah. Telekines is also so strong in Alkong for the same reasons I said Death Toll is strong. And... Lancelot is going in. Mm, be careful, be careful. Just use my one. That's how it was trying to get through the door here. Ooh, Apollo's kind of poked. Oh, that is so bad. That is so unfortunate. I got poked like that. Ooh, maybe we can kill Kuzumbo. I got him. Nice. That's huge. No CC meter on this guy all game, whatever he ults. Oh, that's so sad. What? I can maybe go on this guy. Nice, that's huge. I mean, they don't have fireways, so we might be able to defend. That's no problem. Got some nice damage on him. My blink is down, but I can come back. We might be able to defend. No, he missed. Of course, that's a cripple field. Why wouldn't it be? No problem. Ult in 10. These aren't fire waves, so... Ult's up soon. Oh, ult in 1. Nah, he's just gonna end. I can. I can reach him. That is so sad. Oh, no. <laughs> that was an intense game, though. Lots of fun. Basically, yeah, just looking to old frontliners who don't have CC media kind of is a good start to a fight. As you can see, chasing people out with that after is good. Build's probably not the best. You probably should just go full damage if you want to make this character viable these days. But um, even then, it's just hard. It's just still really hard. If I was full damage, I would go from getting four shot by the uh, Apollo to three shot. But to be fair, we should have won the game. I kind of just got distracted by those dang cockroaches and... and uh, <laughs> threw at that fire giant so sorry team but it was still a good game still fun and uh yeah that's basically i guess basically uh kind of how you play alkong these days and uh that's pretty much it who do we have next in the a to z i believe it's aphrodite well we gotta go boomba's afro that's just fun because of the fun interaction with her kiss so um it's gonna be some smooches in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed this one stay safe and healthy as always and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out